You know where we're going, boy. Do you know? You know where we're going? We're we gonna go see Debbie. Get you some haircut. Good boy. Good boy. Have a great day, Debbie. We'll see you next time. Okay. Come on, buddy. You ready? Are you ready? Bye. Bye. Are you excited to see Rascal? Are you thirsty, boy? <laughs> what are you doing? Happy Labor Day, fish heads. Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates, and it is time for your Labor Day holiday workshop update. These are fun. Let's start with you. So I've got a three piece to one customer. I've got another piece going to another customer, and I got all of these that some of them, um, this one is spoken for. It's part of a two piece that's going out. And then you guys probably just watched the really cool two minute video I did on the hacks. That was a blast to make, but I still don't know. Okay, so if he didn't watch all the way to the end, like past where the stuff, like credits roll and all that, if you notice on this S crank when I first showed it, there was a little bug on the nose of this bug. At the end of the video, I'm asking what the bug is. So if you want to go to the very end of the video, I've got a close up of that bug and I have no idea what it is. So if you guys could help me out and see what that bug is, somebody can let me know. I appreciate it. First up is this guy. This is part of a three piece order and it is a 4.5 spook in the winter green sun. And I call it winter green because I did a winter sunfish that wasn't nearly as detailed. And it's a cool pattern. It's on it's on the website. Um, you can find it in S Cranks, and I think maybe I did one in Squareville as well. But it's there. It's it's at Jekyll Bates. Um, but then I did a really detailed. This is all hand painted, as in like with an artist detail brush, and I sprayed obviously the basic transparent. I wanted to keep this really transparent on the spook because those are awesome topwater baits to begin with, and they walk really well. But I wanted to really trick it out so that you could see through on both sides. And I think I did a pretty decent job doing that. But anyways, this is the wintergreen sun on a spook. I also do have one on an S crank, which I did all these transparent this time. A lot of times I'll do a white base coat, but I wanted to see what the difference was going to be. And these are just, you can see the, the pattern, but then when you get it up to the light, like the whole dynamic of the bait changes. So I'm excited about these as well. I like them with the darker opaque primer on it. And I really, I'm really digging these. So this is going out. Actually, it's a four piece altogether because there was an after order, which is this rat. Um, this is going to be cool. And I did, this was part of the hack as well. So go check those videos out. I'll link them in the description below. And then the last piece was a 75 Whopper Plopper in the winter green sunfish so those four are designated going out to ricky this is part of an existing order as well so i just had usually like when i have a bunch of these to do i'll just set them all up in a run like i'll check my orders up on the board and then i'll check um and see if i can do a run of something together and i'll pull all the pieces out and do it and it's just an easier way to do that if you guys are are in the part of your business where you're starting to get some some decent sized orders Check and see what you've got and see if you can do any of them together because it really makes for a much easier spray session for you guys. Just a little tip. It's helped me tremendously, so it can help you too. Uh, what do I want to show you next? Oh, glory. This is uh, on my Square Bills page four, and uh, it's a 2.5. It's got a really deep indigo on the top of it, which is cool, and then it fades down into that red. And then the white over top. I love, for some reason, I just love doing red, white, and blue baits. And yes, I, I, of course, I'm, I love the country. But I just like the color combination on baits, too. Probably because it's mostly primary colors. And uh, 
I grew up uh, in Maryland with a lot of stained water. There is clear water in Maryland, the creeks and the streams and the rivers, except for the Potomac. Now, the Potomac is um, it's wicked stained, unless you get to the northern part of the Potomac, and then it clears up, and there's smallmouth up there. Actually, there's smallmouth. In, anyways, I'm down a rabbit hole as far as where I grew up. But what I was getting to, there was a point to that mayhem that I was just spewing out of my mouth. Um, is that the brighter colors were really good profile baits in stained water on the Potomac, and I fished a lot of a lot of times on the Potomac. This is the finished job of that bonus spray session you guys got on that dark pattern on this Ozark Trails lipless, and these are great baits. I know, yes, they're inexpensive. Yes, they're they're. I wouldn't consider them cheap, um, although they are cheap in price, but <clears throat> by no means in the way of blanks and and stuff that's generic you know when you when you rank this against any of the bass pro shop stuff because folks if you didn't know most of that stuff comes out of the same factory that this stuff comes out of <laughs> there's only like four or five factories that are producing over in china so anyways this this is a really good 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 lipless and uh, i i would put this up against a red-eyed shad i would put it up against the uh the original, well, it's a Booyah now, but the old Excaliburs, they're just great baits. Uh, the flutter is good. The fall is good. The rip is really good when it's ripping through that water. So this is that dark fall rainbow trout. And uh, I also got a question on these. You guys saw this hanging here. would have been hanging here. It had come off the uh, clear coat rack. <clears throat> this is completely dried now, and it's been accented and brand new eyes put on it but somebody was asking how the pattern is done and basically these are all fluorescent patterns except for the wicked black t uh, magenta that's on the top of this thing but the pattern what did I, I just did this is the pattern and this particular one actually this isn't the exact pattern for a couple of these but it is for this one so we'll get to that in a second but this is from uh, russ allen insane custom stencils i'll link his stuff in the in the description below as well he does uh, just an amazing catalog of stencils for pretty much any bait out there and if if you have a wild crazy request just hit him up on messenger and and he'll answer um and he'll probably make it like he did some some special stencils for me as well uh, alphabet and numerical um but yeah so i tweaked this a little bit just to get the fade coming down to a point on the y pieces that are in here um and i i made it a little bit longer so i did take my exacto knife and kind of route this out a little bit but these are pressed um here in the united states russ allen does them at his shop and they are available on the web and it's reasonably priced and you can pretty much get a stencil wheel for anything. I use his fin wheels constantly now that I have them. So just a, a little plug for him because uh, we like to we like to keep the business where uh, where we, you know, small business is a good thing, folks. It really is. I like our tools as well. But anytime I can promote us another small business such as my own and, and Russ's and Lure Me In and, and all those guys, I'd certainly like to do it. Garcia's foiling business. Uh, Corey Van Vonderen does a lot with ice, ice fishing, and he also does custom stencils up in the north. So this is the uh, – this is actually this is a repaint, brand name repaint uh, that I did with his stencil. So it's all stenciling. You guys are asking where it comes from. This is all stenciling. So cool custom eyes. And I got these, um, I got a whole bunch of these over here and they are glass eyes. But they're really cool. You can get some just amazing patterns. So lots of cool stuff to show you. Back to over here. Let's see, what do we have left to show you guys? Showed you these, showed you that, showed you this. This is cool. This is one of those Delta Craws in that uh, Husky Jerk x rack Flash type deal, Rapala pressing. And this is also a really cool pattern. Great for the fall. Once they've gone through that molt, they start turning red. Great, 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 great bait. Next up, we've got this guy, and this is from the video yesterday, the hack video and the, the four hacks in two minutes. Um, fun video to shoot, but I like doing contrasty colors when I'm dealing with lace patterns. And just, it almost will take on a crappie effect when you do that kind of stuff. And that's sort of the intent with this, but I, basically this is two colors, folks. That's all it is. It's just a white primer, complete white primer. 
and then spray painted black. So if you guys didn't check that video out, I'll link that in the description below as well. It's cool. Um, it's a more produced video. It's not a, an actual tutorial, but I do give away a few hacks in there. And uh, it's everyday household items that you guys probably have laying around the house for sure. So that is this one. This is the lace one. Also have this one. This was uh, this kind of <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Eddie Van Halen's guitar. <laughs> It's um, it's a very cool deal. It's 30 pound braided fishing line wrapped around the bait, tight as I can, cinched down with um, masking tape when we did the bill, came out really clean. And I like to do this kind of deal on chrome. So I was given a couple of these chrome uh, walleye trolling baits from Nick Peters. So this is one of his two and the other one's gonna be super special as well. But he gave me some colors. He's like, hey, these are my favorite colors yada 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 can you paint me up a couple things so this and you've got some texture in here uh, i did an, an angled spray on it as well but it's a very hot fluorescent orange and a very hot fluorescent blue with a little bit of over angled spray uh while i should go crazy on this one so have fun with this bait and the other one is going to be coming out you guys are you're, you're going to be getting that this week do I have more? I do. This is last but certainly not least. This is that Atlas out of Dinger. Um, he has come up with the circuit board bill, and I normally do not touch the circuit boards. I'll, I'll tape them over, but just for this bait, I wanted to do something a little bit cool, um, something completely different, so I went ahead and did the, the mummy wrap. I started doing the mummy wrap about two years ago, and then last year I did. Uh, I actually did a Halloween uh, <laughs> spray off, basically a few of us, and uh, we had some fun. Uh, there was some really cool stuff that came out. If you if you guys go back through the Facebook feeds and look for that, you'll see a bunch of really awesome stuff from a few of the painters out there. So um, this was I did one of these, and this ended up. This is actually now on the website. Um, sort of it's kind of as a mr stitches stitches i've I've done hand done uh hand detailed stitching on there but i bloodied his eyes on this one and uh i really got a funky mummy going on with this so this is all these are all going to be available if you guys are interested uh the three that i did not this one but this one and this one and where is actually nope two two are available because that mouse that i did where is the mouse there's the mouse um that's part of this order here so but but these two these two neat homes hit me up if you want them and because i was talking about the website just let you know this is the last day folks this is the last day of the biggest sale of the year that i do i always do my blowout on labor day because I like to get those new fall baits going on. So 25% off everything on the website. That's right, everything on the website. And if you order today, today only, every order over 50 bucks is going to get a sticker. And every order over $100 is going to ship for free. So you guys take advantage of that. It's 25% off everything, including apparel. We've got some new threads going on. We've got some good hoodies, uh, some long john type shirts for the fall and the winter that are really cool. They're soft spun. They're easy fits. And they got a cool Jekyll flag on them. So you guys take care. Have a great day. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. Smash that like button. Hit that subscription bell. Ding, ding, ding. And we'll see you on the next video. Happy Labor Day, America, and the rest of the world. Take care. We love you. We mean it. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.